Arnie de Villiers. Ball at drive end. He's caught. Unwise caught by Cullinan at first slip. That's the first Pakistani wicket. Not surprising that it should go to Fani de Villiers. The, the part of the art of bowling is to get your man uncertain at the start of an innings, and Sanwar there at the start of his was uncertain. So an early strike for South Africa. Him. Will Fani try him with one of these? And he has, and what a catch by Richardson. Now that is a great piece of thinking bowling. First up, the big in-swinger. Good catch, beautiful bit of bowling. And Pakistan, 20 for 2, Fani de Villiers, 2 in 3. There they go, the pair of them. And uh, all you can say is that he was thought out and... Another one! Fani de Villiers has got three. And the dangerous Sahel is on his way, caught again by Richardson. It was, and just look at the angle of the bats. He had to open it up to reach it even, and the footwork again was no good. He was too far away from it. Well, real drama. Pakistan 44 for three, facing 460 made by South Africa in the first innings. Lapses with him. He's bowled him. He's bowled him round his legs, and he just cannot believe it. Nor can I. So many of the Pakistanis do walk across. Bowling wide, he's struggling to get LBW decisions. I'm sure if Ejaz had been given out to that, he would have moaned and complained. There's no deflection off the pad. That was straight on to the leg stump. And the pitches round about middle and off. Didn't move, just went straight on. And a complete misjudgment in going too far across. 106 for four. And Ejaz for once failing against South Africa. More than a hundred almost every session and then The man of the match is indeed Farney de Villiers, decided by one of uh, South Africa's great batsmen, Lee Irvin, and uh, he had no hesitation. Farney taking 10 for 108 and making those 66, taking a couple of catches. Farney does, he check two days in favour on the There's your uh, Madden man of the match medal.
uh, presented by Castle, our sponsors. And uh, do you realise all the things that you've done in this test match? I mean, the first man ever to take 10 wickets in a test match and make 50 runs, your best analysis of 10 for 108, improving on the 10 for 123 when you won the match for us at Sydney. Um, it's just been a wonderful test for you. Thank you, Trevor. I think uh, I might be in trouble in the future games because I've probably used up all my luck <laughs> for the next two months. No, but it's, it's, it's been a tremendous effort from the whole team, really. We've, we've stuck to our task. The, the boys were like three, four nudges up compared to the New Zealand games. And uh, it's good for the boys to, boys to produce it. I, th I just hope we have a successful New Zealand tour now. Which did you enjoy most? I bet you it's the runs. Um, 66 not out. The, face on, the, the, the expression on Salim Malik's face when I reverse sweep. I mean, that was, <laughs> I I, well, that was a prize moment. Wasn't I it? enjoyed that more than the thing because <laughs> Especially doing it off the skipper's bowling. Yeah, definitely. You, you didn't enjoy that much. Fani, a wonderful performance by you. Keep going in New Zealand. And uh, South Africa on a high now. Yeah, definitely. I think the boys are playing well. Um, I would love to see some of uh, the boys uh, coming back that's been out again. Obviously, to, to, to make the to make the, uh, the lineup so much better for us, and uh, it's only a tremendous effort from everybody. Everybody is doing well, and I'm just happy that the team is on the road. Congratulations. Thank you.